Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, we will learn about anatomy of thalamus. The thalamus is the dorsal part of the diencephalon. It is a large mass of grey matter situated in the lateral wall of third ventricle and in the floor of the central part of the lateral ventricle. That is, it is situated in the third ventricle and some part of the lateral ventricle. Moving on to the external features of thalamus. The thalamus has two ends, anterior end and posterior end. The anterior end contains the anterior nucleus, it is narrow and forms posterior boundary of interventricular foramen, the foramen which connects third ventricle and the lateral ventricle. The posterior end is expanded and is known as pulvinar. The thalamus has superior, inferior, medial and lateral surfaces. The superior surface is divided into lateral ventricular part and medial extraventricular part. The lateral ventricular part of the superior surface forms the floor of the central part of the lateral ventricle and medial extraventricular part is covered by tela chordae of the third ventricle. The inferior surface rests on the subthalamus and hypothalamus and the medial surface forms the posterior superior part of the lateral wall of the third ventricle. The lateral surface forms the medial boundary of posterior limb of internal capsule. Structures and nuclei of the thalamus White matter The external medullary lamina covers the lateral surface. The internal medullary lamina divides the thalamus into three parts, anterior, medial and lateral. Grey matter. The grey matter is divided to form several nucleus, anterior nuclei, medial nuclei and the lateral part of the thalamus is the largest and represent the neothalamus. It is divided into lateral nuclei in the dorsolateral part and ventral nuclei in the ventromedial part. The ventral nucleus is subdivided into anterior, intermediate and posterior groups. This posterior group is further subdivided into posterior lateral and posterior medial group. The interlaminar nuclei including centromedial nucleus, midline nuclei and reticular nuclei are also present. Our thalamus is known as the great integrating center where information from all the sources is brought together. So, this is about the anatomy of thalamus. Hope you found this video useful. For more informative videos, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like and share.